Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Overflow Podcast at theoverflowpodcast.com. As always, my name is Joaquin. I'm Jay. And we are so very happy that you have joined us today. Um, and as always, uh, it is a new week. I'm not ready for it. Why? I don't know. Cause I'm never ready for anything. What's going on, Jay? What's up? Chilling, 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 chilling. No grilling this weekend. Uh, maybe. What? I don't know. Where was my? If the mood hits me. I don't. Uh, the or, mood hits oh, me. Oh, I meant last weekend. No grilling last weekend. No grilling this past weekend. No. But there might be grilling this coming up weekend. Maybe. Maybe. Um. So. Big news at the, at the uh, Soto household. Um, it's a lot of big news. Sebastian, a.k.a. Cal. A.k.a. Bean. A.k.a. Bean had his first haircut. No. And, and I, think, I think Jay no. Jay was crying more than Bean was. No. Matter of fact, I don't think Bean cried. He didn't cry at all. He was was so well behaved. And Jay was, was ex- balling. I was expecting, you know, the, the like the typical kid, nah, right? Like him pulling away from the scissors or from the clippers, right? Not the kid was a champ. So now he goes from having Fabio hair to yeah. having uh, early Justin Bieber hair. No, no more baby <laughs> Thor. No more baby Thor. So what what prompted that? I thought you guys were gonna let it stay as long as. He was alive. Well, <laughs> two things. Two things prompted it. The first one being that for a while he's been saying that he wants his hair short like Bobby. Okay. Right? He wants his hair cut short like Bobby. I want hair short like Bobby. I want hair like yours, Bobby. Like, you know. And um, the second being, um, you know, he has eczema. So the long hair. Exasperated it. So much. Right, because of how hot it's been. <clears throat> right. I right, saw so the heat, the hair, and he's always he like he sweats fast because of the hair. So I'm trying to help help that out, relieve right. some of that. So. Should you should have just shaved his head like mine. Nah. That would have been awesome. Nah. Then you could have gone around. Then my son is sick and got free ice cream. <laughs> you're so stupid. Terrible. That's so messed up. <laughs> so messed up. I can't <laughs> believe you said that. Um, but he loves it. Like he's like showing it <clears throat> off. I got a haircut. Right. Look, I got a haircut. I got a haircut. Like he he loves it. Oh, no doubt. Uh what else? What else was new? You the, said you said there's lots of news. Well, you know, um I turned 40, 45 on Wednesday. That's right. Jay turned 45. What an old man. 45 Wednesday. Some uh, you know, it always blows my mind that you're like 10 years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, right? Because there've been a lot of times where on on the podcast, I say, you know, I've been in ministry for over 25 years, right? And if anyone follows us on social media, like, they look at my pictures and like, yo, this dude's lying. Right. This dude's lying, but he's, no. He's been in ministry for 30 years. <laughs> right. I've been, Maybe 40. Like, 40. <laughs> oh, I turned 45. I turned 45 on uh, Wednesday. I've been in ministry since I was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, I right, so, B right. got a haircut. I turned 45. Jay turned 45. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Forty what else? fizzle. Um, what? What else? What you got going did on? Did we already talk about Bean being in the video? Uh, no, because that was last Sunday. Or right. We, no, that was the Sunday was the before. Sunday before. So I think we did talk. So Bean. That's yo, right. Probably. We did talk about it. Bean. Was, Bean's a rap video has not come out yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's going through editing. So the the it's being you know chopped up. Um. But uh. Now this weekend. But being a ukulele today. Oh, okay, so so he's gonna be he's gonna be posting the one millionth version of uh, somewhere over the rainbow with the ukulele. No, so it's funny, right? So I showed I was showing him videos because right? I was showing him how to hold it, right, and how to strum the strum the the, the strings because he wanted to do it this way, right? right. Thinking it's a toy. He well, f- you guys don't see like he laid it <laughs> flat. He laid it flat on on the island, and he was just strumming it like it was um. Like a Hawaiian guitar, like one of those, like oh, like guitars. the like the like the kung fu Chinese like sliding, musician yeah. guy, you know. Bing, That's what bing, he was doing. Bing. So then I was showing him videos of of kids playing the ukulele, right? Okay. 
and that inspired him to like hold it right and strum it. to strum it right. But then I showed you the video. Like these kids are singing. They had one kid who <laughs> he was playing the songs, but he was trying to sing them also. But he must have been like 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 maybe four years old, so he didn't really know the words. Right. So he just in in the melody of the song, right? And he was playing the right notes and stuff. But yeah, you couldn't he he wasn't saying any real words. But um so afterwards, Bean takes the the ukulele and he just starts like strumming, just whatever, and uh, just fake singing. <laughs> right, <laughs> he wasn't singing the Breakfast Love of God. Yeah, I can't hear that song. I can't hear Reckless Love without hearing Breakfast Love. He, Bean has ruined that song for me. For you, for me, you know, you through Bean through you ruined that song for me. No, being through being, he does it himself. Nah, man, but I wouldn't have known about it until you said it. That I started listening. Oh, you would have known it. about it because I would have. I would. You would have heard him. That's it. Um, yo, you went to uh, the Latin, Latin porch, dude. Yes, I went to Latin. What is it called? Latin porch no. cafe, isn't it? No, 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 no. Porch light. Porch light. Latin ca- Latin kitchen. Yes. There you go. Porch Light Latin Kitchen. Yes. We were we were close. It was it was a last minute thing. Yeah, Porch Light Latin Kitchen. It's a last minute thing. We um you know, we asked the rents to watch the kids. Oh, so it was like a little date night. Yeah, it was like a little date night. Grabbed the wife. I didn't tell her we were going. Right. Right. And silly me thinking that these guys being open for like over two years already. Yeah. Right? That you know, it would be calm. No. No, you Dude, gotta make reservations. You still gotta make reservations. Yeah. Right? So uh um, get packed out. So when well, we waited, right? Because you know, well, inside for reservations, but outside those tables, you know, whenever they're open, right? So we waited, right, for our little table outside. I was okay as long as I got to eat. <laughs> right. <laughs> like now you could if not you could have just uh walked across the parking lot to the uh <laughs> to the Shades Rip Shack or oh, to the Mexican spot. The Mo's or <laughs> but yo, but um the owner slash chef, head right. chef, he comes outside and he's talking to these ladies that were at the table and I'm like, yo, don't entertain them, yo. I'm, we <laughs> we waiting for them to leave, right? And um I just start talking to him. Right. But I just start talking to him. I don't know what it is with me and like chefs of like Latin um, restaurants or whatever, right? But I, we just start talking, and I introduced myself. I actually told him my real name, right? He was like, "Oh, right. we were talking in Spanish, right?" So you see, he's like, he's there talking English to everybody, and then boom, the Puerto Rican accents come out. Mira, pero, mira, pero, de dónde tú eres? Right, 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 right. So yeah, ¿cómo tú te llamas? Yeah, Jose. Like I told him my real name, right? Oh, right. Andres, it's my wife, Magdalena, whatever. Right? And so he's like, didn't have. It. Didn't have to tell him, no, 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 she doesn't speak Spanish, right? He just right away went, right? Because, you know, he's he's also married to a non-Latina. I'm guessing that's the reason, right? But, um, you know, like, he he brought us inside. Like, the the table was free and whatever, but... Right. And when they came outside, okay, this table's free. They like, oh, no, well, you know, there's a table here inside where it was actually like a window seat. Like, right. Like the timeout table. Right. right? <laughs> so you can look outside, right? Pero yo, um, like, he came over. That dude was super personable. Right. Super personable. Because I was like, uh, he came over later. I was like, hey, uh, what, are you, what are you guys going to have? I'll bring it out to you myself. Right? It's like, nah, nah. You're like, don't even worry about that. You know, whatever. You wouldn't get the ribs. You won't get the ribs. You won't get the ribs. You won't get the full rack of ribs. But you don't worry about it. Split you it. didn't get the can-can? We split it between the two of us. Nah, I didn't want, I didn't want the can-can. <sighs> we just got the ribs because it was like a guava chipotle sauce that he made himself. Right. So I wanted to try it. Right? I just, you know, I just wanted to try it. And uh, amazing. Anyway, so okay, he he um he comes back right, and he's like, "Hey, Jose!" Right, I was singing. No, not even. I was singing. Um, they had um they had of course they was playing salsa, right? So they were playing Un Verano Nueva York, right? So okay. I'm there and I'm singing at the table. Mira, Jose, yeah, to canta bien. And I was like, "Oh man, you know what? You know, I, I sing a little bit." He's like, "Yeah, me too, but in the shower, whatever, right?" right? And then I told my I I, I mm. tell I, I just pulled up a picture of that can can. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> next time, next time, next time. Uh, I, and I tell, I tell, I told Michael, yo, look, right? He, that Buen Provecho also has been advertising one. That's anyway. yeah, I, I try, I've, I've eaten that one. It's like I, you know, that's that's pretty cool that he remembered my name, right? Keto friendly. 
Like he remember my name, right? And she was like, "Hello, your name is Jose." It's not that hard. Not that it's not that hard, right? <laughs> For Puerto Rican to, wow. to forget your name. But then he came back, and then he asked her, right? And he was like, "Magdalena, you know, how do you like the food, Magdalena?" And then she, then, then she was like, "Okay, your your name is easy because like." And the room of 100 Puerto Ricans, like 80 of them, my name Jose. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, your name is easy, too. What, what do you think? Back then, that's not a Polish name. That's a Spanish name, right? So, tate quieta. Right? But whatever, like, <laughs> when we, before we left, right? before we left, he came back to, like, personally say goodbye. I told him that the parents were here, so we were going to come back. He was like, you know what? Make your reservation now. Right? So, that I know, because I would love, he was like, I, I would love to meet your parents. I was like, I would love to meet your parents, you know, just... You know, I've got, I mean, people from Poland in my restaurant. That's awesome, right? It's just right. real cool. It's like, you know, look, just picture my wife and kids. But I'm like, just talking, just talking, right? Because you know, I was like, yeah, you know, we we finally got, <laughs> you know, I gotta I gotta take these kids to Puerto Rico so that so that my 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 black family or Afro Latino family can yeah. see the two little blue eyed blonde kids. Yeah, black family. family. You were right. Black family. <laughs> I mean, Afro, whatever. Yeah. For the for the for They're black. <laughs> for for the racially sensitive. Especially right. especially especially next to me. Right. Yeah, especially next to you. Right. So my black family can meet the the blonde blue eyed blonde blue eyed. Uh, <laughs> and I'm putting in quotes. New members. I'm of putting the in family. quotes. Soto kids. <laughs> 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 Somebody got some splitting to do. <laughs> Right, so he was like, "Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta take it." So, gotta so you, it. So, so you added me on that reservation, right? No, it's, no, uh, no, I didn't. Sure. I, I didn't make the reservation. Oh, I thought you. Were, he said to make it. Yeah, I know, but I didn't make it. I was just, we were just talking and talking and talking, and I was like, "Right, we gotta go," and then I just walked out the door. Terrible. That's okay. I'll call and make it. That's terrible. So, so the guava chipotle was pretty good. Yo, the guava chipotle was amazing. Pero he also makes his own mayo ketchup. So do I. No, no, he makes he makes like his he makes his own mayonnaise, his own mayonnaise, and his own like ketchup, ketchup. <laughs> like ketchup, <laughs> tomato sauce. Like, like he got mad. He was like, "So what do you think?" He said, "What do you think? Did I just mix Hellman's and, and Heinz and just put them together?" And I was like, "Yeah, you add a little adobo and a little pepper. That's, that's how it. I do that's it. That's how I do it." <laughs> Well, actually, no, 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 no. I use Dukes. <laughs> I use Dukes mayonnaise, and then, uh, yeah, and I it use... actually tastes better with Miracle Whip than Hellman's. But uh, that's just my but, secret. You know, hey, right? And, he, and I was like, yeah, that's how I do it. And he was, he's, he's like, he laughs, like, no, I make everything no, from scratch. No, Jay. And I was I'm like, a real chef. I was like, shut up. Oh, okay, that's dope. No one likes you. Like, that's dope. That's dope. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. No, but you know what good. was amazing? You know what was amazing? Not keto friendly. So I was a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Because mm-hmm. I because mm-hmm. I got it from Magda. But then she was like, Papa, you gotta try this. You gotta try this. He makes um this smoked mac and cheese. Meh. And and he adds um chicharron. Yeah. I don't like mac and cheese. Yeah, I know, but it's the chicharron. Like, so so I like, can can I just be like, just give me the chicharron. <laughs> like, Keep the mac and cheese. Like, his own chicharron from like the stuff that he cooks, like right. sh- crumbles all. Dude, I'm like, oh, I know like Magda likes the mac and cheese. There you go. You get mac and cheese, right? And um, and the tostone with the mayo ketchup. I'm good with the ribs. Just give me all these. I'm gonna eat these ribs. Right. But she was like, No, you gotta try. It's like I don't want that. No, but it's got the chicharron. I'm like, it's like <laughs> I did one of those faces. I did a yeah, face. that's a. Uh... But it was dope. Yo, it was. Well, that's good. Like so, next time I go. That's delicious. I'm gonna get the kan kan. That sounds delicious. I'm gonna get the kan 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 Make a reservation. Make a reservation. You know what? We also gotta go. What? We gotta go to the um, to the to the Latin spot at the um. Uh, what's it called? The place in Atlanta. Yeah, we do. Uh, what's it called, dude? I have no the, idea what you're talking the, about. The the Pete the um. The oh, the Ponce Ponce Market. Super Pan. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, I haven't been there. 
I haven't been there, so we gotta go. Golly, go to these places. I can't go eat. <laughs> you son of a gun. I've been there. You son of a beep. And that's why I was saying, like, I don't know what it is with me and like the chefs slash restaurant owners because um, when I went to Super Pan, because I went to Super Pan for the when before I, I had to run the. The DJ Four Twelve and French show at, the uh, right, but then we went to the when we went to the um, to the Braves game. We were at the the Delta Club seats, right? Like, dude was there too. Oh, okay. They had they had like a, they have a spot there, right? So when I got there, I was like, oh, super fun. I just thought it was gonna be like just people making the stuff for him. So I just went, and when I grabbed the sandwich, I see I I, I see I, I don't even remember his name, but he was there, right. and I was like. Let's call, let's call him Jose. I was like, let's call him Jose, right? Mira, mira, papi. I like the guayabera, man. And he was like, hey. Oh, you right, like right. this? Oh, yeah. I was like, you like this? Yeah, you know what? I was this close to wearing mine, <laughs> but I wanted something nice and cool because it's like 99 degrees out here. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. We were there and, I met, yeah, man. And, and again, I, I guayabera is nice and cool. I, you, introduced, I introduced it to Magda. Where your wife <laughs> beat her underneath it? No. No white feeders. Or excuse me, not, the, 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 the white tank top. Can't call them white feeders <laughs> anymore. Um, no, I don't like wearing white feeders outside. Like, I don't like wearing white feeders under, under guayaberas. What do you wear under guayabera? Nothing? Or like just a t shirt? Nothing. Like a white t shirt. I can't. I, got, I always got to wear nothing. I just, I don't know why this has taken this turn, but <laughs> I cannot. I have, to, I have to have a white t shirt under every shirt I wear. I don't like wearing, I don't know. It's like I have to have layers to my skin. Why? Because. For me, it makes it, it's just too I think, hot. Think, well, to me, that's how I stay cool. That's funny. You know, because you sweat and then you're, you're, the undershirt catches the sweat, gives you cool, and then it doesn't get the, <laughs> doesn't get the shirt you're wearing all sweaty. Um, that's funny. With me, that's it's like the exact odd, opposite. I get, it makes me like super hot. And then the, and then. I'm wearing the shirt on top, right? And, it, and that gets it, super sweaty too. And it gets sweaty, but like the 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 t-shirt underneath, like super sticky. Right. Right. So then it, it annoys the hell out of me. Like I've literally gone to bathrooms, yeah, yeah. taken off the undershirt, and tossed it away. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> um. Weird. Uh. Let's see. I'm man, you had a pretty good, pretty good weekend. My weekend was pretty. Pretty whack, man. It's pretty boring. Nothing really. You talk about your children were here and they left. They grew up and they, uh, and my they moved Well, out. but my children left on Wednesday. My boys left Wednesday. The boys that were staying with, with me, so they left Wednesday. So that was like goodbye. Uh, Friday, I did. That's what every that's what every parent wants. Friday, I did nothing. What did I do Friday? I don't think I did anything. Yeah, I did nothing. I did nothing. Oh, no. That's a lie. Friday, we had uh, Legacy Nights. Legacy Nights on Friday. That's right. So I did Legacy Nights on Friday. Which, once again, went really well. Whole new crowd. Yeah. It was like, uh, we had like the regulars, and then we had people that just kind of rotate in. Hopefully, we can get them all in together at one time. Eventually, we'll get them all in together at one time. We'll get them all in together at one time. Yeah, that would be amazing, and there would be no room. Be hot. <laughs> and hot, because you, you guys don't ever have the AC on. Um, Sorry, but we always have the AC on. And we had the fl- and we had the fan on on Friday, and it was still hella hot. Well, but you gotta you remember your house. You gotta so if it starts at eight, you gotta have the AC on at four. So, the so AC is always on. No, I'm saying blasting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying like, oh, it's set on seventy five. No, 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 fifty. Just whoosh, um, take an offering to pay the, to pay part of the light bill for that day. Um. Yeah, so we did that. Hung out with my dad on Saturday, which is cool. Uh, visited um, influencers on Sunday uh, before I came back. Uh, it was cool. It's always cool. Like, uh, um, it's always cool running into people that haven't seen me in a while and, and seeing them go like walk by you because they don't recognize you. Yeah. And then you're like, hey man, you're like, oh my gosh, that's you. <laughs> I'm like, ha ha ha, it is. <laughs> um, gotcha. Next time, um, uh, but that's it, man. Um, the for me, the highlight of, of last week was um, uh, so Orange Theory has a transformation wall, and they asked me to be on the transformation wall, um, which is pretty cool. There's a before and after. I posted it on my account. I guess you know tomorrow I'll share it from my account on the overflow. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, do that. Uh, Instagram account. So if I can see, if you're interested, you can see I've, um, I am, uh, yo. So when I started, I was at 342. I'm at 245 right now. So what's that? Two pounds? Three pounds? I'm three pounds away from oh angel uh, from 100 pounds so i'm coming for you angel angel knows angel knows uh oh angel yeah he didn't like it he didn't like it when i called him gordo did he yeah, i don't think you <laughs> did <laughs> angel that's your name your name now i don't think you did i don't think you did that's okay he'll be all right so he'll be all right, <laughs> he'll be all right. so uh, a couple of things before we jump into what jay wants past excuse me past the jay is going to be sharing with us today um a couple of interesting things so, number one, the the first one, uh, is always you know we always like to oh so a couple of things. Number one is uh, let's keep Nicaragua in our prayers. Yes, please. Uh, over three hundred, I think about three hundred people have been killed over the last uh, I think like two months, um, and then actually last weekend there was this huge, uh, you know, government forces were like shooting into a church, and they had the, all these kids trapped and. Yeah, you know, they went, they went to the kids. church so, the sanctuary. Um, and, and they were shooting at the they church. They were shooting into the church. Uh, so let's pray, for, you know, let's keep Nicaragua in our prayers. Uh, and then Jay found this article, which is very, very interesting. The title of it is from uh, ChristianHeadlines.com. And the article is Archaeologists Discover Biblical Gate Related to 12 Tribes of Israel. So our archaeologists in Israel say they've uncovered the entrance gate to Zer, a biblical city from the Old Testament. Uh, they say it was later known as Bethsaida. Bethsaida, anyway, Bethsaida. and uh, we'll say Bethsaida. In the New Testament, the find in the Golan Heights area was made in the past two weeks and was announced Sunday by the Golan Regional Council. According to the Jerusalem Post, Zer is mentioned in Joshua 1935 as one of the fortified cities for the people of Naphtali, one of the 12 tribes of Israel. The verse reads, the fortified cities are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Raqqa, and Chenerah. So it's pretty cool um, how they keep, you know, <coughs> just they keep finding all these biblical cities, all these biblical places, um, uh, which is always cool. And so this area, right, this is a, is a big tourist attraction, especially with evangelicals, because it is where the blind man was given his sight. It is where the blind man was given well, his one sight. one of them, anyway. By Jesus. Jesus. Um, so... The well, thing, the thing though, like the funny thing about this article is that when um, it, it I don't know, it just showed up in an email. Showed up right. in, in an email, right? So like, <laughs> I'm at work, and I got like super excited when I was reading it. Like, uh -oh. like I was completely geeking out. It's like, oh my god, oh yeah, that's so dope. Oh, like, <laughs> and then somebody's like, hey, what's going on? What happened? And I'm like, ah, oh, no, you won't get it. <laughs> like you'll get it. You, you won't get that. it. Even. <laughs> so so that's pretty cool as always we like to kind of point out that kind of stuff because it's kind of neato speedo because uh you know who can't find any archaeological evidence of anything in their book the mormons and i'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> um shots fired <laughs> um um <laughs> Uh, oh, my God, I'm so done. The LDS is coming after me. Um, and let them. Uh, the other uh, article that we found for this week, uh, you know, as and always. our what the? It's like, what the heck, man? Here's the title. <laughs> it's a beautiful title. Burglar breaks into escape room. Can't figure out how to escape. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 um. <laughs> So this article came out, I think it was last oh, week. No, I can't. Police in Washington say a man who broke into an escape room on Sunday damaged the room so badly that he couldn't escape. Um, <clears throat> uh, an owner of the escape room told the news station uh, Wardlaw did so much, Wardlaw, which is the guy that broke in, did so much damage to the business that he couldn't escape after breaking in. Apparently he didn't know how to use the lock on the front door and was stuck. So this guy, Wardlaw, the criminal, reportedly calls the police and told officials he was calling from the escape room because his own home was being burglarized. Which, which, when you read that, you're kind of like, what? Huh? Wait, wait, your house is being burglarized, so you get yourself locked into an escape room. 
can you walk through walls? Like, what's going on here? So by the time, you know, the police showed up, uh, he had finally figured out a way to, to escape. But the cops caught him, so he ends up getting charged with second-degree burglary. Uh, he, he gets a second-degree burglary charge with a bail set of 40000 Um And it's just like, seriously? Are you, are you kidding me? Um, here's an idea. Really, son? Don't go breaking into room. Don't go break into escape rooms. So, so my criminals out there, if you're gonna break into a place, make sure that it's not a place that says escape room on the business. No, sorry, I do you, not agree with that. You don't agree with that? No. Oh, if I'm you're a to, criminal, I'm, I'm just trying to help people out. If you're a criminal, please break into an escape room so that your dumb self can get caught too, because you can't get out. Good. Uh, that reminds me of uh, several years back. I don't know if you remember the video. The guy that um was gonna break into a convenience store, and he went down the uh, he went down the um he, the vent. Yes. And he got he got stuck. The vent over the grill. He got stuck. Oh, the people coming to the border, they just see these feet. You see the legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then the guy that breaks into the liquor store. Through the roof. And he falls. He falls. He hits the shelf. Ow, he hurt. I knew uh, that had to hurt. Then he couldn't get out. So he just sat down, opened up a bottle, and yeah. started drinking. Yeah, I see that. That's too. why they're criminals. Because as Batman says, they're a stupid and cowardly set of people. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our Don't get mad at me. Get mad hey, at Batman. Get mad at Batman. Because I'm Batman. So. That's it. So today's uh, <laughs> it's just so funny to me, right? The, the what I found ironic is that the um, the owner was upset, and you know, right? You know, rightly he, so, rightly so, right? But he should have been proud, also, because <laughs> apparently he has a really good escape room <laughs> business because the dude yo, can't escape. Yo, what would have been like? Better? He escaped by breaking through the wall. Yeah, what right? would have been hilarious if. Uh, like the guy like opens the door to get out of the room, right as the police are there, and then they're like, "He was like, yeah, I just had to follow the clues." <laughs> so he spent the time in there, like trying to follow the clues to get out. Oh, uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't. Um, like, great escape room, yeah. Your escape rooms are the best. Like, the, the, dude had to break through a wall just to get out. That's uh, so many, just so many things wrong with that. Um, that's what you call ironic. Is, don't you think it's like <laughs> really okay? Um, today, today's song, today's song is by a person we really like a lot of people because I'm always like it's a favorite of the over. Um, yeah, yeah, but, we do. But we really like this artist. Yeah, we do. Um, yes, yes, we do. Uh, great voice, really good music, really good songs. Lauren Daigle, really good songwriter too. Um. Uh, this came out on the 13th, so Friday, uh, and the song is called You Say, by Lauren Daigle. Um, we'll have it up on the webcast. On the webcast. On the webcast, yep. We're going to do that, too. On the website. Uh, Which is awesome, because it, it speaks into ident our identity. Yes. Right? As far as what we're told by everything around us, in contrast to what God yes. says. Right. Yes. So it's 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 and it's a very it's a very honest song because like yeah. even you know the chorus like you say I'm loved when I can't feel a thing you say I'm strong when I think I'm weak you say I'm held when I'm falling short when I don't belong you say I'm yours and I believe I believe you say of me I what you say what you say of me I believe so it's right. I mean yeah it's a great song that deals with I mean it it you know it really does it 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 it's that you know it's that battle that we have in ourselves right. We we want to believe the things others have others say about us, um, and we and we're not listening to the things that God says about us. You know what He's calling us. You know yeah. we we tend to want to we tend to f fall into the what other people say about us or what we think about our, our what garbage we, we you know we feed ourselves and we've all been we've all been um, you know guilty of that right. So. <clears throat> Uh, Lauren Daigle, great song. Uh, you say new single for her check upcoming it out. album. Her upcoming album, uh, "Look Up Child," which is going to come out in September. Can't wait. So when it comes out in September, we will 
obviously push it again because uh, we really like oh, this. We'll, we'll we'll push another song. So, all right. So and what? And the trailer of the week is. Oh, that's right. Trailer of the week is. Uh, this is the second trailer. Uh, for the I call it the Winnie the Pooh movie, but that's not what it's called. That's not what it's called. It, it, it is, is called the Winnie the Pooh movie. It's what Christopher Robin. Something Christopher Robin. It's um, it's uh, Christopher Robin. That's the name of the movie. It's not Finding Christopher Robin or something like that. No, or Goodbye Christopher Robin. I don't know. I'm looking up here and everything I see just says Christopher Robin. Yeah, it's Christopher Robin. Um, so, all right. So me and Jay have already decided, or Jay and I have already decided that we cannot watch this movie anywhere in public because if you see the trailer, you can tell that wherever you are, there's going to be a dust storm. It's going to kick up. It's going to get in your eyes, and your eyes, to protect themselves, are going to water. Right. And, um, and who likes dust in their and eyes? Who likes Nobody. dust in that? Nobody. Nobody. I mean, I just Nobody. had to go. To, I just went to the doctor last week because my eye was messed up, and I, no one, no, I want to know that. None right, of that. Right. And I, and so did I. And I got to get glasses now. Yeah, and Jay's because he's old. That, you know. So, <laughs> you know. So was so was. What's what's cool about this movie? It's it's the idea of of an older Christopher Robin who kind of has forgotten. He forgot Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, and so Winnie the Pooh shows up to help him. Um, to, I guess in, in, to reclaim that that um, little bit of that innocence, a little bit of that youthfulness. Uh, then when when they were best buds. So anyway, so anyway, the trailer will be on the website. Um, so. Uh, that's definitely one that uh, you should probably go take your family because it'll be family friendly. Yeah. Family friendly. It's Except for me and Jay, we're not going to go to the movie theater to watch it. Man, just I'll that, tell you what it's like, but I will not. Just that trailer, though. That, like trailer. That, that second trailer when they show Pooh and Tigger show up and they're all dusty and worn. Right. Yo. Yeah. Like, yo. Yo. And they did a good job of finding a, a similar voice. Right. Right. So to Pooh. To Winnie the Pooh Pooh. Right. So. Pooh Bear. <laughs> Pooh. 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 <laughs> All right. So. Yo. That's it. Yo. Bro. Lauren Pooh Daigle. Pooh. Check her out. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Christopher Robin, actually. Christopher Robin. It's the name of the song. I mean, it's the name of the movie. Christopher <laughs> Robin. Um, Now. To the main event. And it's Ewan McGregor. And it's Ewan McGregor. It's uh, Obi-Wan. Um, he, he's playing. Obi-Wan is playing Christopher Robin. Um, Told you he didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Sorry. Um, What's that? Last night. Last night I found this um, this Polish movie on Prime. You should watch it. It's um, it has subtitles. Uh, it's about a <clears throat> an undercover cop. Well, a cop. He wasn't undercover. Right. He started undercover, but then he created so much destruction and violence that they sent him to like this small, sleepy town. So kind of like Hot Fuzz, the Polish version. Like Hot Fuzz, except not as funny. No comedy at all. Oh, like okay. it was. It was brutal. Oh, okay. Like was, Ooh, now you're speaking my language. Yeah, it was brutal. It was brutal. Like, was and, it Joaquin and, level <laughs> violence? No, uh, no. But it was it was brutal. Enough. No, not that I'm violent. No, I know what you're talking about. But it was brutal enough where like you stay watching. Oh, okay. Right. But it's in Polish. Yeah, it's in Polish. Polski, Polski, Polski. With, with, with subtitles though, right? So with they Polish send, subtitles, I can't read those. They, they send them to a they send them to a sleepy town that um it's like it's run by the mob, and everybody knows, and even the 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 cop. Like the chief of police in the precinct they sent him to. Says, he's crooked. No, he's not crooked, but also just puts a blind eye. Say, yeah, that's just the way things are here. Right. right. Tells him, you only focus on the petty crimes. The bigger crimes that happen, just leave them alone. Like ignore them. Just focus on the petty crimes. That's all you got to do. Say, like, what if I see like somebody getting murdered? Just leave it alone. Right. Go give out some parking tickets. Right. And of course, this dude. 
It's not gonna listen to that. <laughs> okay. But so so what I'm hearing is uh, you got to send me the title so that I can look it up. It's called Pitbull. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the 405 or the 505? 305. 305. I was going to get there. Like, I was going the wrong way. I, <laughs> sure as hell I needed to go down. Five, three, four, two, the, one. No, but uh, yeah, it's called Pitbull. <clears throat> it's, um, yo, it was dope. It was dope. Excellent. All right. Dope. So I guess that's a bonus. Like I put it on late because yeah, I fell asleep early in the afternoon. Right. Put it on late. Stayed up late. So that's uh, that's the bonus movie. All right. So this no, no, no. That's not for our listeners to watch. That's, that's for you to watch. That's for me to watch. <laughs> uh, unless, un- unless, uh, well, so I just pulled up Pitbull, and it looks like I have a documentary on um, Pitbulls. No, Pitbull. Put up Pitbull, um, and then the second word N O W E. Pitbull N O W E. Yeah, two words. N W O. Nove something. It's like new chapter. Uh, whatever. I'll figure it out. All right. So I'll send you the link. All right. So past the J. It's time for past the J. Past the J. All right. All right. Past the J. What you got? What you got? What you got for us today? You just full of rhymes today, huh? I am. I feel very, I feel very hip hoppy, very rappy. Not poetic. Um, I wax poetic. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! <laughs> bra, bra. Uh, jokes are coming fast and All right, furious. so check this out, right? Check this out. So tonight, 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 it's tonight. another movie to watch. Go ahead. <laughs> Word. Tonight, um, we were inspired. Joaquin and I were inspired. Well, um, well. Inspired is a strong word. Yeah, it is a strong word. Well, anyway, so I wrote this devotional. Right? I wrote this devotional um not well not I was gonna say not too long ago, but it's it's been a while. And um it's called Zombies. As the crow flies, yes. <clears throat> As the crow flies long. Right? It's called Zombies, right? And it was about well, I can read it. I'll I'll post it, but I can read it, right? It says, Have you ever wondered why it is that if you accepted Christ in your life and heart, nothing seems different or new? Right? I've got something to look at and consider. I've come to notice that sometimes we ask God for renewal, but hold on to our past, our past memories, thoughts, actions, and our past ways. We stay speaking the same way. We stay acting the same way. We stay listening to the same things, and we stay around the same people. We stay wondering, and then we stay wondering why things haven't changed. Right? Hmm. Realize that I use the word stay a lot because that's what we do. We stay. We pray, cry for, and seek change, but we do nothing to change anything. We are blocking our renewal. Mm. We not only remain the same, but everything then gets worse to keep us from seeking to be made new again. All right? Second Corinthians, like every, everything, everything we do. All right? We have a scriptural foundation. I got something to tell you later. Remind me okay. about that whole scriptural foundation thing. Mm. Right? Second Corinthians 5.17 teaches, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The New. old self has pa- passed. passed away. Gone. Right? Everybody knows that passed away means <clears throat> and that's dead. That was funny. That's like a theme for us, right? Yeah. Like every week we say the same thing. That's yeah. like, you know why we say it every week? Because you need to be reminded. Every because week. you need to be reminded every week. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. When you start practicing it, then we'll change our tune. Go ahead. Boom. That's it. In your face. Amen. That's it. This is, this has been the overflow podcast. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? The old has passed away. Behold... The new has come. Old has passed away. The old you dies, and in Christ we're made new. Right? So it's almost like we have yes. a zombie epidemic in the faith. Mm. We've been made new in Christ, uh, but we hold on to the things that keep us dead. Right? So let go of your past, give all of yourself to Christ, and allow complete renewal to take place in every part of your life. Right? And that's the thing. Right? So Joaquin and I were talking about how. Yes. We um we we heard a song yes. that, that made us think about how why like why why if if they're believers, right? If they're believers, yes. then why are they writing songs and recording songs that um 
that speaks from a point of view or a perspective of like an old self, right? Yes. So this is the deal, right? <clears throat> if we're made new in Christ, as 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 that devotional said, right? Then we need to see things new in Christ. Yes. We need to perceive things new in Christ. Yes. We need to respond to things new in Christ. Correct. Everything about us has to be made new in Christ. We have to give in everything. So the way we used to speak, we don't speak that way no more. Not supposed right? to. The way we used to think, we don't think that way no more. Not supposed right? to. So check this out. And when we say that, we say that, um, <laughs> and this is going to sound weird, right? This think, is going to sound I think, weird. I think Jay's about to stand up. He's about to start <laughs> preaching. I'm about to start preaching. This is going to sound weird, right? But as a Christian, for you to complain about your haters, right, if you're a Christian, and you say, well, I got so many haters. My haters, my haters, my haters. For you right. to complain about your haters, then your focus is on the wrong thing. Then you're dumb. Right? Your, focus, oh, no. <laughs> your focus is out of focus, right? Because Jesus said, Jesus said that if you follow him, right, then right. people will hate you. Right. Right? Because if they hate me, how much more will they hate you? Right? If they persecuted yes. me, how much more they persecuted right. you? I remember one time when I was when I was um youth pastor in my church in New York where I was like, yo, if you got people criticizing you, right? If you got people attacking you because of your beliefs and because of what you think and because you're you're you're, you're preaching and you're and, and you're, you're you're quoting scripture, then tell them thank you, right? Because that yes. that is like confirmation Correct. that you're doing a good job. Because if you become too comfortable in your salvation, Right, well, God forbid that Jesus and, and and Scripture just become normal, and you become so familiar that you're just sitting back and you're at ease and you're not doing anything. And like people who don't serve God, right, they, they find you so friendly, right? They find you so friendly that you blend in. Then you're doing something wrong, right? Then you're doing something wrong because right. Jesus you sat among, but he never blended. Yeah, so I was gonna, I was just you know, in my head. I thought, you know, we we should all aspire to be Ned Flanders from The Simpsons. <laughs> Googly doogly. You know, because uh, if you've ever seen The Simpsons, you know, Ned Ned Flanders stands out, right? That's that's the whole point of his character, right? He's that goody two shoes, right? He's the he's the guy that has the like you know satellite, but he's only got like five channels because he blocks out all the stuff that's bad, <laughs> and right. he's only got the stuff that that's good. Um. You know, is always involved in his church. Always, you know, he's got Sky Angel you know, and only watches Pure Flicks, not Netflix. Right. You know, so and pure obviously, <laughs> right, and, and so we does, know he does Pure Flicks and chill. Pure, pure Flicks and chill. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and so we know. I mean, right, we know that it's a caricature. Right. Right. But we also know that um, one of the great things about his character, which I think is something that we should, in a way, we can look at as an example, right? Because so we should aspire to be Ned Flanders. Whenever, whenever Homer Simpson, googly moogly. right? Whenever Homer Simpson, like has is is done whatever to whatever to, retarded thing that he's done. he's done, right? <laughs> you know, Ned Flanders is always there, no matter how many times Homer Simpson has has ridiculed him, has stolen from him, rejected has him, rejected him. Uh -huh. he's, you know, Ned Flanders is always there to help. Okay. To help Tell him, right? Him Even when he doesn't want to, and in those in those episodes, he's like, "Lord," he always prays, right? He's like, "Lord, you know, I know I'm supposed to be good to him, you know, kind of thing." And so, <laughs> you know, I think, you know, yeah, this song that we heard, it's it's funny how, um, because because as, as we were thinking as in you know about this idea of 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 um, of renewal, um. Uh, it's it's funny how we how we get sucked into kind of this mentality, and then it, and then when it comes to uh, you know the, the song was a hip hop song, and in that culture, right, hip hop culture, there's this thing, of, there is this underlying thing about you know you hate haters, right? And, and uh, from and, the you know and, from and the competition, and competition, you know, from the beginning it was you know MCs, you know, they would battle, try to see who was the better at at, at, at the rhyme, you know, at rhyming or at throwing disses, and I mean it evolves from that. So even now, you know, oh well, if I'm, you know, if I'm how many MCs, you know, must get this, you know, if I make if I make money, if I'm if I'm you know if I'm making if I'm successful, if I'm successful. That's the word. Then you know, people are like, oh, you know, they're hating on me, they're hating on me, and. 
that negative aspect of 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 hip hop of the hip hop culture, you know, is has has permeated uh-huh. Good a- word. every every aspect of all of our culture, secular and Christian. Correct. And and so, you know, it's you know we've talked about it before, and and it's just a thing that. You know, we we have to we have to check ourselves because nowhere in scripture do we see people talking about, you know, hey, I'm gonna make it just because you even even though you even though you hating on me, or you know, oh I, I've done this and oh so now you hate on me because you know I'm not doing it anymore or, you, you, or you, whatever. You, you know what it is, you know what it is, Joaquin, what it is is that you know <laughs> being in ministry for over twenty five years. Right, because you're that old, and, and being 45 years old, you 55, know, you, yeah. you, you see, I, I've seen how things have changed throughout the years, right? Right. And I, I, I noticed that Christianity now is has gone from, right? Ready? Has has shifted from being from having a lens that focuses on Christ, right? Right. So before, I remember growing up before, the lens was Christ. Like Christ yes. was the lens, right, that... that um Was the filter for right, the everything filter. we did. Christ was the filter, right, to make us more like him. Whereas now the filter is humanity, right? right? You know, now the filter is humanity. Now, now the, the lens is humanity, right? So it's no more, you know, more like Christ. It's now it's, you know, I'm a human and God knows. Right, so God knows that right. I'm weak. God knows that I'm gonna fall. God knows, right? Instead of, you know, and it, and it needs to go back to Christ, yeah. right? Because yes, God created you as a person, but He created you as a person, right? That when you accept Him and live for Him, then you go from glory to glory, right? Right? Then your then mercies are new each morning, right? Right? Then you know joy comes in the morning, right? Right? <laughs> you know, um. I'm gonna keep saying it, right? The <laughs> like, sun right? rises in the east. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> let's, let's, get, let's stick to scripture, right? And 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 it was funny. I was talking to um to Bert Bert Boca Chica, Boca Chica, right? And um and we were talking about how you know a lot of people now, right? And a lot of artists, right? Without mentioning any names, but a lot of these artists, instead of going to scripture, they go to their favorite preacher. They right. go to their favorite pastor. Well, let's- as, a, as a sounding board only. No, let's Only a, let's expand that. Right? Yeah, all of us do. Everybody does that. Well, well, it's not a bad thing to do that, but it's a bad thing when you only do that. Right, right. right? No, when no. You that's only that's that. what I'm saying. Right. And, so and that's and that's the issue. A lot of people will tell you, you know, and they, and, they can quote their favorite. Right. So they've been like, "Oh man, I love listening to blah 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 blah." Insert, insert person. And there. man, I listen to this person. I listen to that person. And I listen to this. And I listen to Jesus Culture podcast. And I listen to. You know, Furtick, and I listen to Chandler, and I listen to whoever, and blah 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 blah, and all this stuff. And then it's like, but then if you're like, well, did you read the Bible today? What, what's the Bible say? Uh, uh, you know, like Angel likes to say, you know, people people want to people want to experience, want to talk about others people's experience, right? You know, with yeah, God, yeah, 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 but yeah, they yeah. don't they don't want to read the scripture so they can have their experience with mm-hmm. God. Yeah, we listen, Angel. Um, <laughs> and. And so, no, I just right, want to so, say, so, 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 so that's so, across the board. Yeah, it's that's, across the board. Like, people can quote Furtick, right, or quote Furtick's take on Scripture, but they can't quote Scripture. Or their own take on Scripture. Right. Or even, or, or, <laughs> right? or not even, or even their own, or even their own, like, interpretation or idea of what they think, whatever, right? Right. But they don't know where it's from, and they don't know the Scripture. Right. right. It's like when we were when we were preparing for today and I was like, yo, yo, I know exactly what we're gonna read from because like this has become like my go to verse for this year. For twenty eighteen. Right. Correct. This has become right. And it wasn't and it wasn't oh oh well, let me let me look for it. Let me look. I was like, yo, we gotta get right. it. It's Galatians right here. one, Galatians one, six through ten, Galatians, right? Because I mean I'm that Bible nerd and I think that everybody should be that nerd. Bible nerd. Right? right. Everybody should be scripture first. Person second. I remember Correct. my grandmother would always tell me. My grandmother would always tell me. My grandmother would always tell me. You can love your pastor and listen to your pastor because you have to be obedient to your pastor. Right. Right? But, but never 
go just by what your pastor says. And he was like, she was like, nothing against Padro. I love Padro. Right? But you never go only by what your pastor says. Right. Listen to him and read the Bible and compare what he says to Scripture. And if what he says goes against Scripture, always go with what, with, with, with what Scripture says over him. Right. Always. Right? Always. If you hear me say something, Always go with what scripture says, right? Always. Like, I mean, she would always, always, always tell me that. And that stuck with me, right? That has stuck with me for my, <laughs> for my whole life. That stuck with yeah. me, right? So, I mean, it also got me into some trouble, like in Bible college and stuff, right? Because, like, I had teachers, like, <laughs> I had teachers teaching, teaching opinion and not teaching right. foundation, right? So the thing is that now, nowadays, you know, we have this, this, this soft gospel, Right, this soft gospel. I don't even want to say watered down because I'm tired of that nonsense. Right, but it's a soft gospel, right? Where, where it, it's 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 meant to to appease and to soothe, right? And I forgot what I was listening to. Right? It was like they want to. Oh, I was listening to it was it was Hunter yesterday, right? Where he he said, you know, you everybody wants to hear the good news, right? Without, with, but they don't want to hear the bad news, right? You never hear, hey. It's good news. All you hear is like, well, I got some good news and I've got some bad news. What do you want to hear first? Right. right? And we <laughs> always hear the bad and we always want to hear the bad news first to then get consoled by good news. Right. So yes. even with the Bible, in the Bible, the Bible is the good news of the gospel, the good news of Jesus, right? Correct. That's the gospel, the good news of Jesus. But if you reject the good news, then you are gonna get some bad news. Right? There, there is there right? is some bad news. There is yes. some bad news, right? Mm. So you have to which one do you want? Right. Right? And I was like, eh, pass the game. Yeah. <laughs> right? Make sure, right? So I'm going to go back to those verses, right? So Galatians 1, 6 through 10, right? These are my go-to verses for 2018, right? It says, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. I am shocked that you are turning away so soon from God who called you to himself, not called you to your pastor, not called you to your favorite podcaster, to your favorite preacher, your author, whatever. Right? Called you to himself through the loving mercy of Christ. You are following a different way that pretends to be the good news, but it is not the good news at all. You are being fooled by those who deliberately twist the truth concerning Christ. Let God's curse fall on anyone, including us, or even an angel from heaven who preaches a different kind of good news than the one we preach to you, <coughs> Mormons. Um, I say again, that what we have said before, if anyone preaches any other good news than the one you welcomed, let that person be cursed. You know, this is the kick. This is the kicker. Obviously, I'm not trying to win the approval of people, but of God, especially with everything that he just said. Right. If pleasing people were my goal, I would not be Christ's servant. Right. And that's the deal. That's the deal. When we focus on when we allow. Right. When we allow the old self, when we put on like the, the, the skin suits, right? Like out of um, Silence of the Lambs. When we put on the skin suits of our old self, or like the, the example you led with, with um, The uh, Walking Dead. Yeah, so like in The Walking Dead, if you've never seen the show, and, uh, and, and uh, <clears throat> kind of early on, what they figured out was that if you covered yourself in zombie guts, the zombies couldn't see you. Right. They, they couldn't smell they couldn't you. Smell you, right? So you could walk amongst the zombies, and they they wouldn't even react to you because you smelled like them. You blended in, you blended in, and 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 that's that's an issue that we have now. We blend in instead of stand out, right? So we want to think the same, you want to speak the same, you want right. to look, act, everything the same. When we were called out, we were pulled out. The old has passed away, dead. <clears throat> Everything has been made new, right? brand new, dead to life, from death to life, from death to life. So we have been made new, right? We were once dead in our sin, and we have accepted Christ and been made new in him. Then why do we want to walk around like zombies, blending in with the rest of the people dead in their sin, Instead of standing out and showing the light of Christ in us so we can bring those dead in their sin to his light. Right. So it's boom. boom. So it's like um, I was reading this article 
that Jay had sent me about the God, like black gospel, right? Black gospel music yeah. and some of the uh, some of the uh, changes, right? right? Some of the things that they're they're kind of dealing with with traditional gospel music and then the new gospel and hip hop and all this stuff. And and part of that article, one of the things I had read was they were talking about, you know, we don't have. They said we don't have a problem with we don't have a problem with um, you know people working in the secular, right? We don't have a problem with a, a Christian producer or a Christian singer or whatever working in the secular. Yeah. However, but when you go work, you should be taking Christ into that and changing that environment. Yes. Not vice versa. And I think, I think you know, I read that I was like, wow, that's that's a really that's a great way of saying it. That's a great way of putting it because we get so caught up in um, when, it, especially when it comes to art, which I don't understand why. But when it comes to art, um, we get so caught up with, well, you shouldn't work with a non-Christian. You should only work with Christians, or 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 well, I'm going to go work with Christians because they need to know Jesus. But then you go work with Christians, but you're not changing that environment. You know, right. that you're not bringing Christ. You're not bringing into, any light to that environment. As we talked last week, you're not uh-huh. bringing light into that environment. You're not salting that in, that that dead environment, right. which we haven't talked about salt yet, but we're going to talk about yeah, salt. We're going to talk about salt. Eventually. <laughs> um, or although if you're Puerto Rican. Um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's, to me, when I think about that, like I think about like how, you know, the idea of, of, of seeking the approval of man. You know, we... All of us have fallen into that, and all of us fall into that sometimes. You know, ain't nobody here saying that oh, we're perfect and we're always like upstanding about standing against stuff. You know, we, right. it's a, it's a, no we, we all, we all want to be accepted, right? We all want, we all want to be accepted, and sometimes we we fall into into the into the acceptance trap, you know, and it's just like, well, you know, I'm just gonna chill out a little bit because I I, I like these people and I want them to yeah, like we me. Want to be I want them to like respected me. for our art, our craft. Our titles, our you know whatever. whatever it is, yeah, our 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 skills as a web designer, right? right. Since that's what Jay does, um, you know, so you know Jay could be going into a situation. He's like, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna tone it down a little. You know, I'm not gonna show him the Christian stuff I've done. I'm gonna show him some of the maybe some of the Marvel stuff I did, or I'm gonna show him some of the the design stuff I've done that's mm-hmm. not Christian because because I don't want them to just reject me off the bat because I'm showing them the Christian stuff, the Christian stuff too, right? I mean. I'm not saying that's what Jay does, but that's that's a, that's a process that all of us have, sure ain't. you know, that's a process that all of us that all of us have though. Regard, you know, and you know, it's it's not about you know, and Jay's like, well, sure ain't, but we've all done it. Yeah, yeah, you know, but I'm, you know, I, I, I can say that it's not because I've only done work for Christians. <laughs> right, right, for, <laughs> for, for, the, for the past like for 15, the last 15 years, years yeah. So. <laughs> but I'm saying though, if, if you know, but you get what I'm saying. That's yeah, that's the saying. point. The point saying. is that you know. Yeah, Somebody, we, we, we do some, fall into that fear, like, oh, what if, man, you know, but that that just, <laughs> oh man, whoo, that is a litmus test to your faith, right? That's where that's where we know. That's what we should tell ourselves. Okay, wait a minute. Well, something's not right, and, and what do I need to do to to reconfigure that um, that relationship right, or that, to kind of that perspective, re- rejigger the perspective, as it were. Um, so yeah, so like with the zombies, we, we want to cover ourselves, um, because we, we don't like, we don't want to be rejected. Mm-hmm. And we don't want to stand out like, you in, know, in what we feel will be a negative light. And, and here's, and here's what I say. Listen, if that's what you want to do, <laughs> if that's what you want to do, fine. I'm straight being straight up. If that's what you want to do. Fine. However, don't tell me that you're doing it because you want people to know about Jesus. Because I've I've mentioned examples of that before, and that's, and I always and I'll always say that that, you know, if you want to do something, because you want people to think you're cool, do it. Yeah. But don't but don't say, well, I'm doing it because I want to show them that Christians can be cool. Yeah, we we weren't called to be cool. Matter of fact, if we're doing it right, we probably aren't cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, you know, if if we're doing it right. Ain't nobody, you know, people be like, people tell us you're cool because you're living for Jesus, not you're cool because, mm-hmm. you know, you're like the flyest dress, you got the it's, freshest it's, kicks or it's, whatever. It's like we said last week, right? You, you know, you know, you want to build relationship, you want to be accepted and build relationship and be accepted that, you know, 20 years pass by and the people that you're accepted by and building relationship don't even know that you're a Christian. 
and have never heard the good news of the gospel from you. Right, have never heard anything right. about Jesus or redemption or renewal uh, or, or salvation from sin. I've never you. heard what Jesus done in your life. Not even that you have to tell them, yo, Jesus loves you. It's like, yo, <laughs> Jesus loves me. You know, <laughs> and, and this is this is how I know he's real in my life. Yeah, you know, you haven't even shared your story, right? So let's not be zombies, right? Let's not be zombies. Let's not, you know, put on this, the old, the, our old selves, yeah, our not, dead skin suits. Yeah, let's, ugh, not, let's not cover ourselves let's not in the cover guts ourselves in of zombie the world. Guts just so that we can ugh. walk amongst them and be accepted and be seen as one of them, right? Salt and light. You know, you can't hide light. Like, you can't blend a bright light in darkness. Right. Right. Doesn't matter how hard you try, you cannot blend light and darkness. And we were called to be salt and light. We were called to be light to shine in dark places. We were called to go and preach the the, the gospel message. Right. Whether whether it's accepted or not, we were called to preach the gospel message. Somebody, so, right. what, what, what Joaquin was saying earlier, we were talking about like right? someone who did that, that didn't care where they were or <laughs> how it was going to be accepted was the was was the apostle Paul. Yeah. And we know that. Because in most cases, wherever he went to preach or wherever he went to talk about Jesus, he got beat up, he got stoned, he got thrown out of cities, right. left, left for dead, right. left unconscious. Right. He would wake up from being unconscious and go back into the city. The same city. And he didn't go in, right? And he wouldn't go in going, all right, I'm going to change my strategy. I'm going I'm <laughs> to change, I'm gonna change right, my clothes so I'm gonna, and change the way I say. So I'm gonna no, maybe he would go speak back a little softer. and then get thrown in jail. And in jail, yeah. he would sing worship songs. Right? It's like, come on, son. Right. So if anyone had it, if anyone had the the right to be like, you know what? I'm gonna change my strategy. It wasn't him. Right? But as he said, if I I'm not as you can see, I'm not doing this to be accepted by people. Yeah. So real practical and as as we're kind of coming to a close, it's like, okay, well you you guys have said, you know, well, you gotta be just doing you know, how do you do that? I think for all of us, it's real simple. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm I'm gonna say this. It's not that you have to go outside. Uh, as it were, and, and and take the hose on yourself and wash off all the blood today, all at once, and just dump everything. Although that would be a good idea, because it, blood is icky and yeah. it kind of gets sticky and you know, all of that stuff. So you, if but you if you can't stand your own smell, then go go take a shower. Go take a shower. But <laughs> but what I am saying is, but but what I will encourage you and anyone that's listening and all of us, right, is you know just start with just start with the small steps. You know, my dad. Uh, when he was a pastor, you know, he used to say, uh, and I think I've shared this before, he used to, you know, pray the word. He used to say, uh, read the word, pray the word, do the word. Even even if even if you're not, even if you're still a little hidden, start with that. Start with just reading scripture. Start with just listening to scripture. You know, there's like uh, audio Bibles. There's uh, what you can do with the, uh, Street with the Bible. Street lights, which is something we love, which is, you know, guys reading New Testament with like hip hop beats underneath and it's really, really dope. It's really, really cool. And something you could put in your car and listen to on the way to work, wherever. Start slow. All right. We're not saying oh, it's gotta be right away. Boom, do it. Um, you know, things things take time sometimes. But begin with those little steps. You know, let's begin with just listening to the word or reading the word. You know, let's begin with praying, hey God, what's what's this word I got right here now? Like what's how can I apply this to my life? And then just applying that little bit, right? No one's saying go stand on the street corner and start preaching. But, but you can do that if you want. But, but, we're, <laughs> but, but we're saying because Jay doesn't even do that. But not anymore. But we're saying, you know, hey, you know, I just read something about loving my neighbor. So who who's who are those people that I seem to have problems with that I just don't like? Let me go love them, little by little, piece by piece, step by step, um, and that's how we can begin to change. Because what what happens is. You know, um, and we've seen this. In other, you, you know, you, you've seen this in people that that have come to know know and, and love love God, right? It's that you start you start a little bit, and then you just fall more and more in love with Jesus. And as you fall more and more in love with Jesus, you can't help help but be more and more vocal and open about who He is in your life. But you got to start somewhere. You got to start with the little steps. You start with the little steps, then your Tom Cruise jumping on couches. Talking about you in love. Sure, I'm not gonna touch that. I'm not even gonna touch that. I'm not even gonna touch that. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's it. Start little, you know, little by little, um, and see where that takes you. But, uh -huh. but, but, do it, chicken butt. Do but it. yeah, just start. 
like I said, shower first. Take you those know, zombie like, guts off you. You know, like I said, you don't even have to do that. B- bury start that listening skin. to scripture. Bury that skin suit. Just start with that. You know, just start with just start with listening to scripture. Listen, reading a little, read a verse a day. Do the bi- do the, you know uh, the Bible app do, throws you a the, verse the, every the, day, right? Yeah, the verse. Every start day. with that. You know, I used to tell people it's so funny. What I'm gonna say, it's so funny. I used to tell people in jail. You know, you want to get closer to God, right? When you wake up in the morning, right? Read, read a psalm, right? Read a psalm. Before you go to sleep, read a proverb. Yeah. <laughs> right? Start with worship and end it with, with instruction. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so. <laughs> or or vice versa, right? Either way works, right? Or yeah, start, way. start with a proverb and end with a psalm, you know? Yeah. Either way but, it works, but do it. You know, just take a little, a couple of verses a day. Um, you know, it's it's like taking vitamins, right? It vitamins. When you take vitamins, it takes a while for the vitamins to begin working. Medicine, right? Medicine. You take one one pill, it doesn't work, mm-hmm. right? And you feel a little better, but you're not healed. You got to take. You got to yeah. keep taking for, that medicine for for to antibiotics to work. You have to take all of it. In the allotted time. The so allotted it's always time. five days, five to seven days. Right. You can't stop early and you right. can't take it after, right? Because then it'll be too much. Right. Right. So five to seven days. Take it all in the allotted time. Five to seven verses. One verse a day. And that's and that's what we have for you guys today. Uh anything else, Jay? As always, no. we're glad that you guys are here. I will say this. Be ready for next week. Dun, dun, dun. Because Comic Con, uh, San Diego's Comic Con is this, this week. So week. next oh. week. Next week we're gonna have some DC news yeah, to talk gonna, about. We're gonna nerd we're gonna, out. We're, we're gonna, gonna geek we're gonna out. Nerd out the whole, you can go ahead the whole and, episode. You can go ahead and just like not even listen to next week's episode. <laughs> uh, we'll say something like something something. Superman is a representation of Jesus, and then we'll break down why that is, and we'll move on with life. So, <laughs> <laughs> so as always, uh, oh, what's up? Oh, there we go. As always. <laughs> always we're glad that you joined us if you hung out with us this far we love you guys uh, thanks once again remember little by little piece by piece um and that's how we grow in our faith um the overflow is where you can find the music the notes uh the trailers all that stuff and where you can also subscribe to the podcast on the different services google apple stitcher um and the hosting site Pippa and YouTube now we're also going to be uploading the podcast to YouTube little by little so thank you my name is Joaquin I'm still Jake and this is the Overflow Podcast see you next week